It's Feedback Gaming, back for some more Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Germany. Guys, it is time to form the EU in the easiest form possible. This has been practiced many, many, many different times, okay? I still haven't cracked this perfectly to a stage where it doesn't cause a World War scenario. Unfortunately, this one does, but eh, we'll make the most of it regardless. Same old, do the same old what we usually do, build up our industry, go for construction, and also work on our oil. Uh, construction wise, eh, I think we'll get rid of the ships, oh I know, triggered, oh no, no, no. Uh, we'll probably pump out some heavy cruisers for something a little bit different. Um, let's go for tactical bombers instead, just for a change. Get rid of those, and... I think that'll do. I think that will do. Alright, and we are going to build oils once again, build them into all the 80% eight, eight levels of infrastructure. And the first thing we are going to do is the same what we always do, and we are going to try and get a bit of political power so we can justify early on. That is the plan. So this is a how to form video. When I make a super video, it usually means I try and form a humongous version of the original nation in Hearts of Iron 4 without triggering a World War 2 scenario. So you can stay neutral and choose to attack when you choose to, which I think makes it more fun to play Hearts of Iron 4. This, on the other hand, this strategy results in me starting World War 2. So, unfortunately, this is not as fun in my honest opinion. But if you want to steamroll the UK or the United States, I guess you've that's the next country you're going to be eliminating, put it that way. So we need to save up at least about 140, 139 I believe political power. I have not memorized that. I used to write the notes down for this, but this is mostly winged. I have practiced this so many times, I'm kind of hoping that I can just reel this off at the top of my head. But I could be completely, utterly wrong. Rob all me planes. We are going to take advantage of the Civil War if it fires within the time frame that we need. But if it doesn't, then we're, uh, we're not gonna be in a good way. Uh, we're gonna train another 12 divisions and go here. All right, so here we are, back to our roots, playing unedited Let's Plays, Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, what's that, you say civil, uncivil? Oh, indeed, let's go. So first of all, we are gonna send our planes. You're gonna go. And we'll send our bombers too. We're not going to send the ace because we want to try and grind aces. That's the plan, Dave. And they're on their way. And do your dirtiest. And send 188 planes. So we'll take advantage of all of them. We're going to do the uh, one ace trick here by grinding as many as possible as possible. AI is a little bit unreactive. Why is the AI reacting differently? I've always wondered, you know, if you have a faster computer, do you think the AI would act differently? You know, like, the AI could act faster and more, be more reactive if you had a faster computer. I wonder if there's a possibility of that. <laughs> the weird thought that just sprung into my head. Okay, we've got 165 political power, so we are going to go for the justification trick on Austria. We are going to go for Austria and Poland. So, there, this method that I'm going to show you right now is a method that causes the UK to join the war that you're against which is not really ideal um but if you guys can think of a different way to stop the uk joining the war feel free to let me know because i'd really like to know because uh i would prefer to make this video a super video of the super eu um but unfortunately i can't do that due to the fact that uh as you can see i am going to cause a massive conflict as a democratic germany that's right you heard me right democratic uh, we're not going to go for that. We're going to go for army innovations. All right, great. So we are currently grinding for aces. There's the first one. Don't seem to have air superiority though. Oh, what's happened, Franco? Oh wait, uh, no. Oh, the Soviets have arrived. Usually, the Soviet divisions are the ones that usually are the kingmakers here. They're the ones that really push either the Republicans or the Nationalists in one certain direction. They've moved to. Uh, yeah, I have noticed that if they get more involved in combat, it does turn out uh, to be uh, more likely to generate an ace if there's combat happening and you're more likely to get involved in that combat. Uh, we'll go for you. 
And just, there we go. Ace generated. Ace generated. Thought we were going to have a lot of fighter aces this time around. It does definitely look that way. Making our refineries again. Yet again, oil is the base issue, the worst issue we experience. So we're going to try and grind as much oil as possible. <coughs> radio would be a, a safer option in this situation. Why is radio safer? Well, it allows you to get extra reinforce rate, which is better for combat scenarios. There we go. Are we all fighting now? Are we all playing nice? Oh, wow. Usually, if they can't take out Navara and they can't disconnect him in circle than that, it's usually the Aether Franco because it usually means that the Republicans have got more divisions and it does look like that's the case as well. Especially with the Soviet divisions helping them out too, that doesn't help things either. We're making our planes, which is good, and we're going to go for the Red Army because that's relevant, right? Okay, so we are currently working on machine tools, so we can still work on innovation still. How's everything going? It looks pretty sweet. So, just to make things a little bit different, and just a little bit interesting, I think I'm going to go for a slightly different build for the Germans, and I am going to go for a different doctrine. <gasps> what doctrine is he going to go for, do you think? Oh, I wonder. What the hell is going on here? This is really different. We go for dispersed again. I'm starting to come more and more onto dispersed, you know. It definitely is more situational. It definitely is more relating to a major power, but still. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Craziness. That gives uh, Franco a nice advantage, but is it enough to change the outcome of the war? I don't know. It still looks like that the uh, Republicans have an advantage here. We are going to go for industrial concern. Probably would be better off with the uh, the doctrine guy. Mm, nah. Seems we're not researching a doctrine right this very second. Doesn't seem that relevant. What, Mr. He Mr. Heater? Hita? Questions Polish sovereignty. Should Poland exist, guys? Exclamation mark. Put that in the comments below. Uh, all right. I'm going to put you guys here. And put you guys here. So, if you've watched my video on how to form Super Germany, no, how to form the Super Holy Roman Empire, you're probably going to notice this looks very similar. The first part of this, the setup, is pretty similar, and it is using a similar strategy, with a few other tweaks here, there, and everywhere. I'm going to get a MIFO bills to get an extra 20% production. Or. Extra 20% production for our refineries. Probably the reason why I love... Oh, 25% production for our refineries, which is one of the reasons why I love MIFOs. MIFOs are pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four... Yeah, why not? Get some more. Feels like if you've got raw manpower numbers, it just seems to give you a defensive advantage where if you have like more quality based divisions with artillery and soft attack, it tends to work more offensively. So we're going to go for a build where we're just going to like make out an absolute crap ton of infantry. Why not, eh? Just for a change. Oh, what's this? What's going on here? Making a lot of light tanks too, which is always good. Oh, wow, more marching music. That's for a change. I know, you guys keep saying, Dave, you know you can mute songs? I know, I know, but then I'll, I'll end up forgetting about it and miss it. Oh, I forgot about the tungsten. I always forget about that. Six months of buying tungsten off the Swedes, guys. I've completely forgot about it. What is this? Oh, here as well. What is going on? I have never seen a civil war like this before. These weird encirclements. It is so... That's the capital? <laughs> what? All right, so it looks like we've reached maximum ace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we've got an eighth one. Oh, wait, no, that is, no, is it? So it's seven. See, it just seems like weird how sometimes you generate quite a lot of them, and sometimes you just generate none. It's weird. It's going to get some more tacticals, or is that them all? Here it is. Oh, we've lost a lot of tacticals then. Let's just see if it's, um, 
Yes, any more aces? I don't think it will. How's the refinery situation going? Pretty swell. We seem to have a lot of uh, juicy XP, so I'll use that. Something I always forget about that. I think we'll have put you on the bottom here. You don't want to give the oil. I want to give the oil priority to the fighters. Uh, okay, what we got? So this is done in 57 days. Yeah, so we'll be able to go for the four-year plan. And what we got? Maximilian. I love that name. I love that name. Reminds me of uh, Gladiator. Eh. There's like some of the more uh, patriotic songs. The so proud songs are very loud. Very loud and in my face. All right, great. So, uh, yep, all the equipment-wise, everything's going pretty swell. Um, gonna go for Blitzkrieg Deep Doctrine. I realize that we still haven't gone for a Doctrine yet. This is the one we usually go for with the Doctrine, isn't it? Yeah. This is a bit of a back and forth. There's been a bit of a, some stupid offenses by the Republicans, causing them to get encircled. And it's come a bit of a back and forth. I imagine the minute I lose, they lose their air support from me, things are going to go pear-shaped. All right, guys. So the big question is, what do we go for? What is the one we go for? Oof. 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 We're going to go mass assault. <laughs> That's right. A mass assault. Democratic Germany. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dave has lost his mind. All right. Great. So, 12 divisions. Uh, we'll break off for you and you and you. And there's 24 divisions. Go here. Yeah, let's go here. Oh, yeah. There's probably... No, I want to select all of these and assign to a field marshal. There we go, brilliant. Probably want to pull off six more and go here, that's good. Need a nice offensive general for this, Rommel will do. Are they all under this field marshal? They sure are. First guy we want to go for is the Austrian dude. Put him here. Why is this? Okay. Confuse me for a second then. And you guys are still going to go here. Perfect. How long until this is done? 70%. So the question is, why do we justify in Poland and Austria? Because we want to skip the focus tree for Germany. We skip the focus tree by skipping uh, the Danziger War, because that's Poland, and we also so skip Anschluss, which is Austria. And that's a skip. Two parts of the focus tree, which results in us being able to uh, gobble up states. Well, go through the national focus tree quick, i put it that way. How is this war going when it comes down to victory points? Slight edge for the Republicans. Oh, the Italians have arrived. But that should be able to uh, do a little bit of damage. More Mifo bills, please. These guys are almost done. That's perfect. And here they go. So what I could do on in this game that's a little bit different than the usual is I could like make a uh, a super economy Germany where we try and contest the power of, of the United States and the Soviet Union by getting more civilian factories than them. Soviet Union is easy, but the United States like 200, almost 150, 200 ish, depending on the production levels. Hopefully, in Matt and the Guns, that might be nerfed. Oh no, two divisions, floating divisions. I'll go for the radio now, because we're about to go to war. Or well, soon, anyway. Soon. Those guys here, because we are going to produce some more fighters when the time comes. Oh, they've been pushed out again. Mass assault. The first one's done. The first one takes half as much time. It probably would have been the most optimal play if I went for mass assault first, because this is half the time, this. And then use the 50% boost on the the text after it, that probably would be the most optimal. But, whatever. Ooh. Okay, this is interesting. There seems to be a big breakthrough in the south here. Tell for a second they were going to encircle these troops in Seville, but they've not. 
Wow, I've never seen a civil war like this, guys. This is a really different one. Not overcrowded, is it? No. I guess what I could do at this point is just split them off and use them as if they were fighting a battle we wanted to win, not, not just messing around. There we go. And they've had to go back to Africa again. Back to Africa. Demonetized. Dave, why are you such an edgy YouTuber? Why can't you be more like... Oh, God, no. Not putting my foot in it this time, guys. Nope. Nope. Uh, everyone go back apart from you. Good. I think I was over capacity then, wasn't I? I had too many... I had too many uh, fighters in Spain. So I should have behaved a little bit more optimally now. All right, what we got? 91%. Good! Progress! Good! So... Oh, it looks like they have any encirclement here. So look at the casualties. It does look like... The, the Nationalists have a slight edge, but not by a lot. When it comes down to casualties, that's such a heavy casualty count. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I have never seen the AI make so many encirclements. This is insane. This is, um, kudos to AI, guys. I've just never seen anything like this before. All right, there we go. We've got the, uh, got the national, uh, justification. That's good to go now. We can go for computer machine. That's good. All right. So we declare war on you boys. Realize my air force is not in the right position here, which is a little bit naughty. Uh, we bring our fighters in. We should have a few more fighters than normal. Bring our bombers in. Perfect. You guys are going to go first. It should start bombing them quite heavily. You guys can just walk in and grab what we need. Graz, Vienna, and Salzburg are the places that you want to go to. Uh, you go here. And that's it. And that is goodbye, Austria. Beautiful, efficient, blitzkrieg. But not quite blitzkrieg. You guys get added on to you. Yeah, you're over capacity, but I don't care. I realize we're not actually using our navy either. I wonder if they're important. If they're important, then that's good. I get to use a convoy rating. Are we engaging them? Yeah, we are. Nice. All right, we're all in position now. Are we all good to go. Probably shouldn't be over supply, shouldn't I? Two, go here. Good. Why aren't you guys railroading? Uh, how many divisions have I got here? Doesn't say how many I've selected. Okay, is it time to do the uh, the bypass? Yes, I think it is. So first of all, we are going to oppose Mr. H, and then bypass the Rhineland. And have we lost land ground here or gained ground? Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go aggressive too. Go go go! Anschluss has been bypassed. Has it now? Oh, they seem to be going by sea. Okay. I want to defend them, boyos. Yeah, we've saved them. That's nice. the victory, gentlemen. On the way. Tilly tally. Tally ho. Krakow, you say? Warsaw, you say? Danzig, you say? Yes, I say them all. So, a historical fact here, something I discovered very recently, is that the. Uh, the Polish never really capitulated in a Hearts of Iron sense. They never actually gave up and uh, surrendered like the, the French did. They uh, they pretty much fought, fought to the very, very, very end until all the army was either crossed over the border to Czechos uh, well, Czechos into Hungary or Romania, um, or they were completely surrounded and surrendered to either the Germans or the Soviet Union. You know, a little fact for you there. Nugget of information. 
Oh, that's around. Oh, 11 divisions! Can we get a wrap around Warsaw? Can we get the, the Great Warsaw Encirclement? Is this possible? Oh, we grabbed Warsaw. And I didn't actually want to drop Warsaw. Never mind. I was kind of hoping to get a surround on them. Oh, the encirclement! So good! Beautiful! Alright, we're working on Disperse now. Uh, I think I want to work on some more guns. And then I want to make a really fat infantry template. Oh, we're cutting a bit on close on time at the moment, guys. So I think we need to speed up pronto. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not using any mods. Have I left any mods on by mistake yet? I don't think I have. For some reason, poles are fighting to the very bitter end. Did they hear what I was just saying just a moment ago? They were like, oh, we fought to the bitter end, did we? That looks like what I'm exactly what I'm doing. All right, fantastic. Fantastico. Perfect. Brilliant. Okay, so that's all good. I'm happy with all of that. Is there something that I'm missing that's really important? I can't select any of those because I want Disperse 4. No, I think everything else is good. I guess we can rush guns. Alright, let's get everyone over here and then we can use our fancy little exploit trick. The Hindenburg disaster! No! I guess we're not doing the, uh, the uh, fancy HRE tricks, boys, today, I'm afraid. No HRE tricks. Alright, what's the final one we haven't done and it's extensive? Once we're democratic, we're unable to go for extensive conscription, so it's better when we do it more of a authoritarian regime. Oh, pay our bills! No! And then we're going to send you out to here. We're going to put you guys on search and destroy. And then we're going to fire the civil war. You guys want an explanation on all these exploits that I'm using in this video, and you have no freaking clue on what I'm doing. Feel free to watch my video, which is entitled... Uh, super HRE video. Yes, that'll explain exactly what is going on right now. You don't have to keep rubbing your head and think to yourself, what the hell is he doing? This is madness. Uh, anyway, what am I doing? What am I doing? What are we doing? Yeah, right now we want to go for total mobilization, but we have too many factories compared to our enemy, so we need to make ourselves significantly weak, and we do that by saying, America, I'd like to take all of our factories. And I'm like, bro, totally. Okay, we have to give more more factories away. I guess we're a lot more stronger than uh, I thought we would be. There we go. Look at mobilization. You know what would be a really cool strat? Please comment below if you'd like to see this. But wouldn't it be really cool if I boosted a small nation? Like, for instance, the Netherlands. Like, I was in the United States, and I traded all of the oil and rubber from the Netherlands, from uh, the Dutch East Indies. And I just gave it to the Netherlands and made a really fat Netherlands by giving them all civilian factories. I bet you could give them like 50 civvies based on the resources they've got. And that would like get a crazy strong <laughs> Netherlands. I wonder how that would turn out. I wonder. Okay. Let's think about this for a second. Where do we want to go from this exact point? I think we're going to reassert our eastern claims. Uh, we don't need to do any of these. We could go for the program of making a lot of fighters. Boom. Boom. Don't have much of our resources right now. We're just going to gently blitzkrieg across the country, as you do. We're going to engage their, their navy. The other Germany. That's right, there's more than one, believe it or not. There's the, uh, the naughty, naughty black Germans compared to the grey Germans. They're ripping up our our homeland. How could they do that? I guess they didn't really love Germany then, did they? They were lying. They lied to the people, guys. Why did they do that? Anyway, here we go. Boom. La, 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 la. And the war is over. And we are going to H them. No bad words in this video. No demonetization for Dave. Yeah, we're going to H them. Because we're not going to do... There is a fancy trick for that. If you want to watch the HRE video that shows you how to bring back... The former members of the Priya, 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 Priya Germany. Oh, wow, that's great. We have two ships and a bunch of subs. Wow. Okay. 
There we go. All right, so what we're going to do now is sort out our industry because our industry is a jolly good mess right now. Jolly, jolly good mess. So, back time. Interesting brainstorming time. Okay, so. Ooh, they're actually... It actually doesn't matter to me who, who goes for Witcher now. Does it? Let me think about this. Now, it doesn't actually make a difference whether the Nationalists... Or maybe it does. Thinking face. Thinking face. Thinking emoji. Maybe it does matter to me. Hmm. I've never tried this before. This is a random shot in the dark. Yeah, so, okay. Interesting fact, time. Tell you how the game works. Since Waking the Tiger, there are scripted events based on what country's direction they do on the national focus tree based on what Germany does. If Germany goes for the Empire route, it results in France going leftists. If Germany goes for the Democratic route, France will go for the right direction. Let me have a look. Double check. Leftist re rhetoric to the rightist rhetoric. Okay. Yeah, so just need to get that information out there and let you guys know that. The more you know. Alright, everything else is good. We are going to fix all of uh, the factories. Alright, that's good. We will work on the infrastructure another day. Another day. All right, brilliant. And anti F raids. I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Again, there's quite a lot of Navy XP though. We should like boost the heavy cruise to two from that. How much extra armor does this give it? Was 1.1. It feels like it's hardly worth it. What's this? I don't want to hear this music! The might of the Soviet Union. <laughs> That's an interesting track choice for this backdrop, isn't it? Uh, we never need eight of those. Perfect. They're about to lose right now. If they... Um, I don't know, are they about to lose? No, they've still got a bit of a fight in them. Oh, they're really struggling receiving our equipment there. There's not really much I can do to help them either. Yeah, so, a lot of people say that this civil war is not balanced, and the reason why they say that is depending on how the player interacts with either the, uh, the Nationalists or the Republicans, depends on how the war turns out. For instance, if the player is playing Italy and doesn't send volunteers to the Nationalists, it will cause the more likely Republicans to win. Or if the Soviet Union is playing and doesn't at the player and it just send, doesn't send volunteers to Republicans, more likely the Nationalists will win. People always say it's in balance based on those facts, but it just depends on how the player reacts to that scenario. It depends on the outcome. The Purge? The United Front against... Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, let's go five speed. Mark Polo incident. Hmm. So, I think we'll call it at this point. We'll just see how this civil war turns out in uh, Spain. They are receiving a few more guns. I suppose this will just give them a little bit more defense. I think if they lose this, they're done for though. So the option is deep battle or mass mobilization. We are going to go for deep battle. Deep battle is the best one because it gives a 20% reduction in overall supply. So you can have lots of fat divisions. I wonder if losing this set is going to be the final nail in the coffin. They're about to lose this. Yeah, they've lost it. And that's the end of the Civil War, I think. Might be. And they're getting a lot of guns now. All to this one port. How many victory points is this city? Three. 
Do they have any uh, manpower? No. Oh man. That's probably not helping them too much because they can't recruit any more new dudes. Captain of Industry is our man. We want to try and pump out as many factories as we can. Uh, we're struggling a little bit with oil. Um, this one here. Here and here and here. Yep, that's good. Alright guys, we'll call this one here. Don't forget to like and to subscribe, Arena. Can we get a thousand likes? Can we get a thousand comments on this video? You've got nothing, nothing, can, any kind of input, but you want to support this video, just feel free to uh, scroll down to the comment section and roll your face on the keyboard and then hit enter. And then see, let's see the marvelous creations you get to make. I know you guys are very creative. And uh, don't forget to ring-a-ding-ding -ding my bell to get updates on the future videos. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.